The Primate In-Circuit Production Programmer is one of the most popular items in the CCS family of programmers and debuggers for microchip PIC microcontrollers. In this video, we will demonstrate how the Primate can be used in a manufacturing environment to program circuit boards just prior to shipping. The Primate is able to program up to eight boards in parallel, allowing it to program multiple boards at once under the direct control of the PC or as a standalone programmer. The unit has a simple to use touchscreen interface for the standalone operating mode and the ability to provide programming power to the target. Technicians can configure the board without the need of the PC or a separate power supply for each target. Let's begin programming eight boards in parallel while the primate is connected to a PC under the control of CCS load programming control software. Supply the power to the primate and connect it to the PC's USB port before opening the software. Otherwise, the CCS load will not recognize the primate as being connected. Using eight programming cables that are provided with the unit or convenient tag connect cables, we will connect eight boards to the primate. Connect a cable into the programming jack or pins of each board from the primate. Next, go into CCS Load where we will program the board. CCS Load is a utility that allows a user to program microcontrollers along with perform diagnostics and modify operational settings. Using CCS Load, we will program all of the boards with a blinking LED hex file created in the CCS E3 Mini Chapter 3 tutorial. Begin by selecting the target device. A hex file created by the CCS C compiler allows CCS Load to automatically choose the correct target device. However, if the hex file was created with another compiler, you will need to select the device manually. Next, we will select all eight slots for programming and set up the programmer to supply power to each of the target boards, relieving the user of the need to power each board with a separate power supply. To set the voltage level, click on the Option tab and enter your desired voltage to specify the target board supply. The default value is 5 volts, but the supply voltage can be set as low as 2 volts. The target board in this demonstration requires 3.3 volts. The programmer can supply up to 200 milliamps to each of the target boards for programming at the selected voltage. Be careful! If the voltage level is set higher than the target board can handle, or if the target board is simultaneously being powered with a separate supply, there is a risk of damaging or burning out your board. Go back to the device menu and select the Write to Chip button to begin programming. After programming is complete, a message window will appear stating that the program was completed without errors. Now let's use the Primate in standalone mode, giving it the ability to program devices without a PC. Prepare the Primate for use by loading the hex file into its memory. The Primate can store up to 8 megabytes of programs within internal memory for later use. Let's store the hex file into memory slot number 4. Click the Write to Memory button to store the program in the selected memory location. At completion, a message window appears to indicate if the upload was completed without errors. Once the hex file is stored, disconnect the Primate from the PC. When the Primate is powered up in standalone mode, a startup screen will be displayed before loading the main menu. Configuration settings for up to 10 jobs can be set while in standalone mode. Select a job by pressing the Jobs button on the main screen and choose any job on that screen. A job can be configured by pressing the Config button on the main screen. From this screen, press the Location button to show the Choose Media screen, then press Internal Memory to read a program from the Primate's internal memory. Press the Slot 4 selection to choose the hex file we wrote to Slot 4 earlier with the CCS Load software. 
Power is used to specify whether the target board will be powered from its own supply or if the primate will generate power for programming. If it says off, that means the target board will be using its own power supply. However, for this example, we are going to configure the primate to generate power. If you want the primate to automatically verify the contents of the target after programming, make sure the Auto Verify option is set to Yes. The primate is now ready to be brought into the manufacturing area for standalone programming. Press the back button to return to the main job screen. To operate the primate in standalone mode, connect the primate's power supply and connect the target boards as shown in the previous example. Press the large right button. The LCD screen displays the programming status for each target. You can see that there was a problem programming target board number 5. Wait for the primate to automatically display a status message for each target. It will cycle through all eight targets showing a status. In this case, the target not detected message was caused by a loose programming cable on the target board. Reconnect the cable and perform the write operation again. You can do this either by pressing the redo button in the top right corner of the screen or by going back a screen and pressing the right button again. We can see that all targets were successfully programmed. When the programming complete message is displayed, it is safe to disconnect the target boards and connect more. Press the back button to return to the main job menu and press the jobs button to begin another operation. The primate can also program files located on a USB thumb drive that is formatted as FAT32. The files placed on the thumb drive have to be pre-processed by CCS Load software first and have a file extension of .ccsicp. To create this file, connect the thumb drive to your computer. Run CCS Load while primate is connected and load the hex file in CCS load. Go to the file tab and press the generate.ccsicp button. CCS load will ask you where you want to save the file. Make sure to save it to the root of the thumb drive. Now reconfigure job one to program the target boards with the hex file contained on the thumb drive. Press the job button on the job screen Press the Job 1 button to select this as your job. On the main screen, press Config button to configure this job. And then press Location button to show the Choose Media screen. Press USB flash drive to read a program from the primate's internal memory. Then the Blink LED option to choose the .ccsicp file written to the thumb drive. You are now ready to program with the file, Blink LED. CCS offers several programming and debugging solutions to fit your needs, ranging from production and handheld programmers to low-cost programmer and debuggers. The Primate is a powerful and cost-effective device to streamline your manufacturing operation. Go online and order yours today. Feel free to check out our other development tools too. Thanks for watching.